Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane, not Janet or Jeanette. I'm gonna be sharing my EDC pencil case. EDC stands for Everyday Carry Pencil Case. And my favorite, my current favorite art supply. This special case that I've been using for a few months. And this is actually not a pencil case. It is a utility pouch from Delphonics. So this is my traveler's notebook journal and this is the Delphonics pouch and it is slightly smaller the size compared to the length and as for the bulkiness can you see that but of course if the more I put the more stuff I put in, in put in here it's going to be really bulky and this is my current setup for this month like just this month because it's always changing but there are some essentials that's always inside here here which I will go through later in this video what I most like about this pouch is the zippers definitely the zippers because it's very different compared to the one that I used previously most of them are like in metal I think they're metal I'm, I'm not sure what quality are those like YKK zipper or something like that but is this is this a YKK? I'm not too sure I have no I do not even uh, check what kind of zipper but it is definitely not the metal types you know the metal types are usually very like scratchy and stuff like that but this is all good I love it this is the only one that I've been using and yeah and of course this is how it looks like inside which I will go through later let me show you like what are the main compartment that I use in this uh, pouch this is not a pencil case it is a utility pouch so usually pencil cases they are like have you know pen loops and stuff like that but this doesn't have that but it has a very deep one dip pocket which I store all of my um, pens and brush and, and everything in here that fits in here and then there's like card loop pockets which firstly I store my business card somehow I wish they have pen loops here if there's pen loops I would put like fountain pen but then it doesn't so this is what I'm making use of so this is a washi tape sampler that I really like of this idea. You can use business card uh, to make your washi tape sampler but I'm using the uh, you know like tags from the clothes that you usually would throw away. There's, there's more tags here like more cloth tags. Yeah they're all made with cloth tag and these are the washi these are cloth tag as well. I have some extra here in case I meet up some journaling friends and they have some washi tape and I would just <laughs> take some of the samplers and put it here directly. So I'm not really a fan of uh, buying new washi tape because once you buy it, it's gonna be a whole roll and you're gonna take a while, not a while, it's gonna take a very long time for me to finish one roll of washi tape you know those are the ones that i have already finished it took years for me to finish it so sampler will be nice for me and these are good for me to uh, bring out meet me that's why i put some here so let's say traveling will be useful because i take a lot of pictures and i collect of a lot of papers and scraps so this is really handful for me to stick down the paper on in my journal and then there is a pocket like a deeper dot pocket here which I store a small mini scissors and then a glue stick from Kokuyo yeah this is from Kokuyo that I really like I would love a small one here I somehow wish they're smaller but if they're small they're gonna be used up pretty fast for me because I paste down a lot of things in my journal and then I have uh, these these are called a lot of people ask me about this <laughs> these are just watercolor uh, mini watercolor palette I call it I have two here there's another one here in a different color shade these are pretty much sold out 
I think this is available on Shopee, but Shopee is only available for Malaysian in my country to use the, it's, it's like a shopping app, but I believe you can find similar ones on Amazon or something, a very similar ones. And then you can just get like all this, you can buy this little small poster neon colors and fill them in here and bring it out so it's it's very handy for me because it's first it's very small it's very small and it's so cute like it's so small and it fits just right anywhere and it looks like a makeup like yeah it looks like a beauty makeup palette thing but it's really cute it's really cute i think there's a little pocket here which I put out like pins and these are the pins that I would like to put here in case I want to keep more paper and stuff like that so this little and that's this what is this is not a perfume it's just water for me to uh, wet my watercolor I definitely love this pocket as well once I put these it kind of like enhance everything or I should just leave it empty which I totally could but yeah it just flattened it out but I really love this I really love this I wish I wish there are zippers as well but I think it's cool in a way in this way as well and then I have decorated my zipper out here with um, some keychain and this is from manual factory lock on as well yeah i got it when i was traveling in hong kong before i think it was 2019 before the lockdown so yeah these are very special i think they have a different color like blue and gray and what else they're very toned down men color because i think utility pouch is like mostly for men to use it to keep their like scissors and knife and all that but I'm keeping stationaries at the moment actually it could fit more than what I'm doing here but it's gonna be very very bulky and definitely love this see-through pocket and oh by the way hold on at time <laughs> so I do I've never I've never did this before in my any of my videos so these are my postcard that I have made like some time ago and it is available on my Etsy store I have like two sets of this this is actually my journal and creative and photography journey that what I'm showing in every year this is my guinea pig so I'm actually selling like two sets each set comes with six different postcards and they're gonna be packed in different packaging like this this is the one that I have left I think this is the last two set like this is the different set this is the one that called life the journal and the different set is called um, enjoy the journey so they're all packed in recyclable paper and I have like reuse envelope so i didn't want to spend more on making nice packaging so this is what i did recycling whatever i have to make the packaging and even this i really love this it says waste isn't waste until we waste it <laughs> so this is like a reusable um, local envelope from my country so yeah if you're buying this uh, you can get this like it shows like malaysia public something something so yeah it pretty much you can use you can reuse all this paper in your journal as well as this tag but yeah they're all available on my Etsy store I don't really have much left even this is I love this idea I, I got this idea in um, in a shopping boutique when I was traveling in Bangkok and they were like recycling all their items and pack it in the back such like something like that so I kind of copied that idea and I think it's pretty cool because yeah this is what I really love doing if you like to purchase it you can just get it from my Etsy store the link is actually below the description box 
And yeah, let's get back to what I'm doing here right now. So, what are these area is... They're just a bunch of scraps and stickers and tapes that I keep here in case I want to put it in my journal or in case I want to give some out to my friends. These are like paper scrap that I got from the magazine. Even like I really like this and this is my own sticker stamp that I made and some yeah there's a lot of scraps and this is my favorite lately I've been using a lot I, I'm a fan of polka dots like I don't know if you guys notice there's a lot of polka dots in my journal uh, whether I drew it or stick it or paint it it's gonna be a lot of little polka dots in different colors so I got this from Daiso and I really like this <laughs> And then there's some, yeah, more scraps. Scrap, scrap, scraps. And that's, this is the, oh, oh, okay. And this is the PET tape from ours. These are, so they work like a bit like washi tape, but they're not washi tape, but they're, they're like in a form of plastic. They're stickers and it is removable. But yeah, I really like them. This is the only one I have. They're so pretty. Look, look at the design. I mean, Taiwanese are so good in making all this and they're not cheap, <laughs> which is why I don't have the full roll. I only have the sampler. And then this is, okay, this is my current favorite stamp at the moment. These are stamp uh, swatches from Kuru Kinki, Malaysian artist that I got recently and I'll be sharing a video uh, soon about her stamp. And these are the balance that I got that I did not have the heart to throw away. They're just samplers, you know, they're just samplers. And most samplers and trash paper, I don't know what they're doing, doing here, but they're very nice background for my journal. So what I, I mean, some people they would actually keep in envelope so that it doesn't like fall off or something like that but i'm leaving it here at the moment because this is like a see-through pocket here so that you can see here i don't know it's just very scrapbooky that i really like let me show you all my current favorite essentials slash supplies slash art stuff slash whatever everything and everything here cool so um disclaimer i mean everything in my pouch it is always changing but this is my current uh thing that i like to use at the moment things that always in here would be my pencil i definitely need a pencil this is the brass version pencil from uh, Traveler's Notebook or Traveler's Company and I know it, it's so small and sweet and it looks really really beat up because it's it's real brass bronze or brass I don't know but so this is how it works it's it's so unique then uh, yeah there's a rubber here once I'm done I it's, it's a very short pencil I could just fill it with other pencil i always use pencil in my journal like um i don't know if you notice this is my second one that always in my pouch because it has like this is a multi pen and it has like one two three four four colors and this come in handy in case i did not bring these so i still have four colors here my basic very basic writing pen um so I think this is very handy because when I travel, I bring these as well. Sometimes I would cut down, like I would not probably bring a fountain pen. But I still have four color of choices here, which I do cannot live without. I need colors in my life. <laughs> and then these are my favorite as well because, I don't know, I, I really like the clip feature. This is the Sarasar clip pen from Zebra 05, I like. I do not use any small extra stuff like small extra fine nib or something like that but I like how aesthetic it look in here it just stand out a lot these would be I always because I'm a 
I'm, I'm a heavy user of water wet stuff so I definitely need waterproof pen this is oh god I don't remember the brand again I do not I definitely do not remember the brand but these is really really nice let me show you how it looks like on a scrap paper so I think it's waterproof it is waterproof so let me write something oh oh my god I pressed too much of the ink came out so yeah it's so nice to write with I mean oh my oh god so it's I, I like how it, it's like a calligraphy brush I think but you could draw with it as well if you want but the only thing that I don't like about it is it's too big I need it to be shorter so it can I mean I still can fit in but then it's really really long that I need to push it in here like this and then the next one so I have this watercolor palette then I would definitely need my watercolor brushes these are from Kuretake and I have two of this in different sizes can see this is like a finer one let me see yeah this is like a finer one this is a thicker one guys if you do not know what is water brush is you know when you watercolor you you have a prop a brush and a cup and a with water so but these are like portable version and there's water in here which you can fill it this way which you can fill water in the brush when you after removing the hate and then you could just color it on the spot but all you need is uh, you definitely need a small napkin or a tissue so that you can change color in between that's what I do I'm always bringing this out so that I could uh, put some color in my journal just to let you guys know I can't draw I do not know how to use a watercolor properly but I just like to make I just like to add colors in my journal with abstracts and patterns so yeah this come in handy and it is short I do have the longer version that I keep at home so yeah this is the one this is the bigger one but I really like the smaller ones because it just fits nicely in my journal I mean in my pouch but these are like a bit harder to put in so these two is always in my house I have two fountain pens in here which I have recently neglected a lot <laughs> um, this is from Lamy with my name initial here uh, this is from Twisby it has I think it has sketch waterproof ink if I'm not too wrong um, but yeah I keep telling myself I need to use it uh more write more jane you need to write more so this day here i have gel pen i'm thinking to get more colors because uh i really wish they're not in like cap form because I, I don't know i really like pens that i could just click in and uh, so that i don't lose that uh the cap and uh, I wish it comes in, in a form like a multi pen so that I could just bring them out or I just wish these I think this is from Pilot they could just launch a special uh, gel roll color neon color ink I, I really wish they could do that they do have but they were the color were not strong enough for me and then why I need this because I could just write on photograph as well as this one I could just write on top of the photograph this is white color this is from Mitsubishi mm, this is the Uniball Signal DX 0.7 yeah this come in handy for my picture collaging and writing notes on top of it and this is one of the highlighter mal liner I have it has two different sizes like which I sometimes I would highlight my fitness record this is waterproof I love it it's very similar to this one that I have this is from Tombow and this is from Kuretake as well but they're both waterproof but this is a little bit pricier and this is the cheaper option but they're both 
they both do well and this is the one I'm currently uh, offering to the participants that took the journaling workshop in my space and this is as well is another brush that is new I haven't really used this yet but it's been in my journal in my pouch for quite some time so let me show you how it looks after I I, I actually put in more stuff but it's so bulky that I do not want that to be so bulky what is this what is this what is this guys you guys must be wondering what is this this is this is also a bookmark it is it works like a book I mean what do you call it like like a what do you call it this so that in case I want to work on two pages it holds the page but it doesn't really hold that much yeah it holds the page <laughs> so that I can just write here but yeah it's always in here here this is as well this is a, another bookmark that are I love bookmarks I don't know like it's not like I read a lot but <laughs> I just like to have them in here so this is the pouch that I I would bring right lately when I travel as well I would change up some stuff but be careful never carry a scissors with you on the plane because they're gonna keep it like the security gonna stop you and this has to be this need to be checking in your luggage so do not hand carry this so I always remember about this and one more thing I would like to share that I recently really like let me show you okay. <laughs> but it's it's very I don't know but I just love it I just love how this thing I wish to have different kind of color that I like so if I were to head out, I would just bring this too, that's it. That's all I need in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all I would need. Yeah, I'm so convenient like that. <laughs> I do not want to carry so many journals. I don't want to carry so many pouches and stuff like that. I need it to be small and yeah, that's. I really like it. So far, I have not really... Uh, stained it yeah there is a little stain i'm not sure if you can see or i'm not sure whether this is washable maybe it can maybe it, it can be yeah anyway one more thing that i would like to show you guys is so i i, I just watched job's journal video that he shared a file folder that he's been using to keep his washi tape and the folder is actually from muji and i do have one as well from muji but the one that he had was the business card uh, folder where he would keep all these uh, washi tape swatches in business card form and slide them. That's a very good idea. <laughs> but I, I'm not really, I don't really collect too many washi tape, but I'm using this one from Muji. This is a CD DVD holder, but I'm keeping my stickers. I just mentioned that I really love polka dots and colors so this is what I've been using at the moment to organize my stickers <laughs> these are very basic stickers that I think everyone has it and you can totally get from anywhere so what I like about these CD pocket is that this is meant for the CDs okay so what I like about it is like in half Instead of, uh, what do you, how do you say it? I used to have like organizer like this. I would keep like ring pocket and I would keep my journal, I mean my stickers in here. But what I don't like is when I want to remove the stickers, I would have to open the pocket. Like I need to glide in and take it out. And there's like different kind of pockets. So this is the two pockets, but the entrance or the door the, I don't know what is it called exit entrance the, <laughs> what is it? there should be a word about it but you need to like slide in and to remove the sticker so there's more design here I have more so this is like the straight one can you see that hey, no no wait hold on so there's like four pocket here let me show you another organizer 
that I've, so this is the clear one that I've been keeping my stuff so these are in clear pocket definitely but it's nice it's very nice to look at because you can see the front and back design and stuff like that but uh, when I were to remove it I need to like this is easy okay but some stuff I really need to like it's, it's just harder for me to put in and find the things so but then of course it look aesthetic it definitely look aesthetic but I do not know how this will turn out in long term it, it will def definitely turn yellow I think it's gonna be yellowish <laughs> so for this it's a CD ROM organizer thingy but I'm keeping stickers and it's just easier for me to remove and because it has a white cloth like a velvet thingy here so it's kind of like protecting the thing the stickers and stuff here huh and there's more stickers here stickers more stickers i love stickers i i i it's it's just a splash of colors here that i really like yeah that's that's all at the moment i do not really have a lot but yeah so this is my current favorite um, art supplies that I'm using and my everyday carry fake <laughs> pencil pouch <laughs> so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video bye